Pearl Curl Beach and to Aerobics All Star. Well, we're here to get you started into the warm up routine. And speaking of warm ups, please remember everybody, it is the most important part of your workout. So try not to be late. And more importantly, stay to the very end, which is the stretching section. Today, we've got some leg exercises to cover. So we're going to be focusing on the lower half of the body. But the warm up does include overall the whole body area. Beginners, welcome to the show. Remember, just work at your own pace. And this is for everybody. Please remember, if you haven't been exercising for quite some time, check with your doctor, seek medical clearance before you go on any further. Let's begin. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bring those arms down. Two more. Long through your waist. One more. Take a nice deep breath in. Let's do that one more time, lifting it all the way up. Bring it down. Now keep your elbows close by the side of the body. Think of pulling your tummy muscles in and keep yourself as relaxed as you possibly can. Continue marching in position for another eight. That's the way, two more. We've also kept good supportive shoes on, so remember, they are a very important part of your training equipment. Continue. Now what we're gonna do is do a little mambo step, beginning with your right foot. Step, mambo, step. Start to loosen up through those hips. Ready? Again, another set of four. Begin to make your movements just that little bit wider each time once you feel yourself flowing and warming into the exercises. We'll do four and we'll do a quick cha-cha, changing, getting ready on the left leg. Cha-cha, left. Step it up. Let's stay here, beginning to warm into the side of the body. See that your shoulders continue to soften and relax. Four to go. Three more, making your steps a bit bigger. Last one, four on the right. Cha-cha again. Breathing. Another two. One last one. Switch on the left. Now I'm going to add some directional turn with this movement very shortly. I'm going to stay on the front first. Two on each leg now. One. Last one. Two left. Good. Now watch the directional turn. I'm simply going to head to my left corner. Cha-cha to the right. So it's just a little bit of a turn. Good. Do take it on easy on your knees during these turns. Pressing it out. Landing nicely onto the foot. Keeping those knees soft. And see that you're keeping your trunk muscles very strong. Okay, we're gonna do it one more time on the left side. Last one on the right. Cha-cha, then march on the spot. Hold it right here. Let's take another breath in. Breathing out. One more time, lifting up that waist. Okay, moving on to the warm-up, we're going to push those heels and legs forward. Start to incorporate some upper body movements. Pressing it through. Exercises such as these, leg, body conditioning movements, anything that tones specifically the muscles, the aim is to strengthen and improve the tone of the muscle. However, it does offer you minimal aerobic conditioning, so it is important that you try to include some form of aerobic activity in your weekly exercise program. Sit it down. Now let's give your arms a bit of a rest. Aim to lengthen out through your leg. Noticing how I'm flexing out through the foot. See that you're not jamming and pressing that heel down too hard. Now we're gonna take it into the opposite direction by stretching it out. Add some arms again. Increase the flow of the breath. A little turn into the body. Another set of eight. One, two. Think long and up through the arms. Lovely. Now a little tap to the side, push the arms out. So they basically flow through the legs. And also watch that you're not starting to lean too far forward, so keep your body up and start to improve the tone of your posture. Now just the legs, everybody, continue moving. Sit your hands on your hips, think long. That's the way. We're gonna add a little grapevine step in between this exercise, so watch for this one. Hold that waist in nice and tight. All right, here comes the combination. We'll do three taps. Great mind. Good. Then tap left and right. Great mind to the right. Long through your legs. When we come back to this corner, get ready to add those similar arm lines again. Here they go. Punching down and out. Punch it again, down and out. See that your elbows stay close by the side of the body and keep your chest open nice and wide. The breathing remains soft. Now what I want you to do is continue warming up throughout the break. Please don't stop. If you need to have a drink of water, also do that. It's very important to hydrate. 
We'll see you back very shortly to start you on our standing leg exercises, so don't go away. Now this exercise in itself is quite challenging. Why is that? Because as soon as you pick up one leg towards the body, you're not only aiming to stretch very quickly, so it's a dynamic type of stretching, but you're also starting to work on your balancing. Deep support muscles are used to help you balance. So it's a great way to actually encourage and improve your balancing by working into these exercises. So let's continue. The first few is always a little bit tricky, but once you kind of find your center of balance, it feels a little bit more controlled, yeah? All right, let's give that another two more shots. One more time, pulling long and tall. All right, the next exercise we're going to do is stretch out the muscles at the front of your thigh. If you feel yourself warmed up enough, then take hold of that foot. A good way to support and help you with your balance is maybe put yourself near against the wall and hand against the wall or perhaps having a chair close by. Now take the other knee up, or back I should say, and just holding it up there. That's the way, just holding it there. See that your waist is nice. Pulling in tight, keep your chest open, spreading wide, good, and release. Now I'm going to take it easy on those leg muscles to start with, we're going to go for a simple squat position, so if you can just start with your feet spaced apart, look down at them, imagine yourself standing on train tracks so everything points forward. Hands sitting on top of the hips, we'll go nice and low with the squat. It's on the exhale, so on the downward face, it's breathing out. Now if you feel you can take your legs a little bit wider or you need a bit of adjustment, do what it takes to make yourself comfortable as long as you're feeling it in the leg muscles. There's a couple of incorrect way of doing the exercise and I'm actually going to get Taryn to turn to the side and she's going to bend down so low with her chest. So really squat low, good. See how Taryn has actually dropped her body forward and her tailbone pushes back. So try to get yourself out of that position and squat more into a neutral spine. So she's brought her back up. Good, she's not stiff like a show soldier. Thanks, Taryn. Great work. So there you go. Now what we've done is changed the angle of our leg position. We've simply come out a bit wider. We've allowed our feet to turn out to the side. All these little changes can impact in certain areas of the leg. So we're going out wide. Going straight down to the center, the knees are pushing out. Great exercise is squats. However, there are people who find that squatting exercises are a little bit tough on their knees, particularly people with very, very serious issues about the knees or you've had some knee reconstruction. It is best that you consult your doctor and just make sure what exercises, seek some information about what exercises are best suited for you. In the meantime, do what you can. Listen to the body. Good, two more to go. Sinking down one more time. Now give everything a little bit of a shake. Loosen up your shoulders. Amazing how shoulders can get quite tight as well. All right, let's go back nice and wide. Squatting straight down to the middle. The emphasis changes by lifting one heel up, then the other side. So really work into rolling to the ball of the foot. And see that you cup your weight centered. That's the way. Now, if you've been in and active for quite some time, you probably find this a little taxing on your cardiovascular system. Why? Well, big muscles groups are being used here. But powerful muscles at the bottom there. So they're going to tax you cardiovascularly. Pressing down. Just pace yourself. Keep the breathing relaxed. Now pretty soon I'm going to add some arm movements into this. They slow and control. Good. Here comes the arms. So we start down. We flex as we flex the knees. Flex the elbows. Lovely. And if you've got some hand weights at home, you can always use the hand weights and start to challenge the bicep muscles. They're the muscles at the front of the arms. Remember, it's exhale. Continue working into the legs, but let's leave the feet down. Grounded, squat, and squat. Two more, everybody. One more time. Lovely, give it all a good shake again. Easy does it. Now the emphasis of this workout focuses more on the outside of your thigh muscle. Notice the stance is a bit narrower. Let's have your arms over here and you're sinking. Think of a chair behind you. <laughs> Lovely. So similar position as to what Taryn um, demonstrated just shortly. However, the legs are just a little bit narrower. The spine is kept in a kind of a neutral position. 
The natural curve of the spine is maintained. Pressing down. If you begin to experience any discomfort in the knee, try to limit your range of movement. Take your legs where you're not feeling the pain and just stay within that pain-free zone. One more. Good, now hold it here. Bring your legs a bit closer in. Raise your right heel off the floor, and this is more of a pulsing action. Watch for this, the left knee rolling in. I don't want that. If you need to have your legs wider, then do it. So we're pulsing. Heel of the right leg up. The hips are level. The hands are resting on the hips to allow the shoulders to rest. Ground that back foot, your left foot. Now switch, and we'll do eight on this side. That completes session one of your leg workout. When we come back, we've got some powerful lunges. So do stay with us and remember, stay warmed up. We'll see you soon. Give it all a good shake. Well, the lunges, standing lunges, and we're also going to incorporate some upper body exercises such as rotation exercises, which are fantastic for your back muscles. So your back muscles are being used here. Let's take your right leg forward, left leg behind. The stance is equally important. We don't want the back foot directly behind this front one, just kind of slightly apart to help you maintain an achievable balance. Drop the both knees down. Now the idea is to go straight down, so working the bulk of your hips, towards the middle of the uh, feet, right down to the center, sinking down, sinking up. Do not attempt to straighten the back leg, so you wanna keep the back leg bent. Imagine there's a tennis ball stuck behind you in the back knee, and you're just gonna hold on to that ball. Okay, so I don't want the leg fully extending. Press, a little bit up, down, tiny movement up, down, tiny movement up, that's the way. We've got another four. Release the toes to the forward foot. You may have your shoes on, but you can still attempt to take the toes up. And I find that that's a great position for the foot. It gives you a stronger stability across the front of the legs. Now we're gonna hold it right here, class. Reach your arms forward. This is where we start to work the rotation. Take your right hand out, so see that you're really turning. Good, come back to the center. And then do it on the left arm, turn. Good, come back to the center. Let's try that again. Up, up, little twist. Nice work. Let's do that on the uh, left side and come back again. Now release your arms, bring those legs in and give yourself a little bit of a stretch. Let's try that on the left side. Don't be surprised if you find the side a little bit of a struggle because often we can have weaker sides to our body. Let's go straight down into the exercise first. We're repeating the movement shortly. So that for the first set, I'm just gonna take it easy on the repetitions and work more on your form. Lovely, pressing down. I am a sticker for a bit of technique in the workout because I find that if you really pay attention to your form, you're likely to achieve results faster. You're gonna see the results as well. So pressing down. Hold that waist in nice and tight. Remember your abdominals and back will be used very shortly. So prepare them right now. Let's go down for another set of eight. Lifting, small little movements. Allow the toes of the forward foot to lift. You can feel it hit right into that thigh. Let's do one more. Okay, stabilize your balance. Let's open your left arm. Big, strong movement. Good, come back. Little pause when you open the arms. Good, now a little squeeze into the bottom. Back we go with the left hand. Nice work, Mia. And last one, take it over there. Good, come back in. Release your arms and give your legs a big, big shake. How about we do a quick stretch first? Take that knee underneath the hip, hold on to the foot. Switching. Now, how did that go for you? If you find it awkward opening the arms, perhaps you can just stay with the lunges. Stretch out those hamstring muscles. Ay ya, this is, this is a big one. <laughs> How's that one for you? Felt it. Okay, changing legs. Extend the leg in front, resting the hands on the bent knee. Let's begin the second set. Right leg sets up, back leg behind you. Stick that tennis ball behind you there. Little pulses. Keeping it flowing. And I just try to go down a touch deeper. Not so high coming up. 
shoulders are level. Imagine you've got a glass of water resting on, on the tops of your shoulders from both ends. That's it, hold it there. Pressing it through. I kind of discovered that cue, the glass of water resting on the shoulders when I was teaching my Pilates classes about stabilizing the shoulders and it really worked. As soon as I set that cue, a lot of people just drop their shoulders down instead of having it up here. Okay, it's a no-go area. Another set of four, one down. Continue breathing through the exercises. One more time, hold it down there, find your balance, open, right, big turn. See that you really make an effort to turn into the lumbar. Of course, if you start to experience any discomfort, come out of the exercises. Big turn again. Good. <laughs> and over we go. Oh, and release it. Did you see the girls? When I was looking back, everyone's knees were really shaking, trying to stabilize. Okay, take the left leg forward. Here we go, class. Now we're just about to hit the break. So I'll just set you up with the exercises. Try to do at least 16 repetitions of the squat, then move into your rotation. And by the time you finish, we'll be back, believe it or not, with a stretch. Let's start to bend down into the left leg as you take yourself into a nice little lateral stretch. Extend the right arm up. See that that bottom shoulder is absolutely relaxed. If you're feeling any type of impingement into the shoulder, perhaps you've allowed that shoulder to push up into the neck area. So it's just down there. There's no need to bear too much weight on the bottom arm, provided the weight is sitting evenly across your legs and feet. Now, when you come out of the stretch, everybody, extend up so you're not simply collapsing over the muscles of the body. Turn your left foot in, right foot just out slightly. Allow the arms to stretch up, pull out of the waist. So you can see the right side of my body is still elongated. It's not flexed too much. So extend long, draw the abdomen in. So you wanna try and keep your tummy muscles more in line with your rib cage. Good, hold this arm up there, both shoulders relaxing. There should be a gap between the shoulder and the neck on this side and pull yourself up and out. Lovely. Just do a couple of shoulder rows, let your legs come back together. And changing sides. Well, I hope you've enjoyed those exercises. They were simple, but really challenging and quite effective in targeting the muscles. We're gonna head down to the ground to work the muscles of the legs. So if you need a cushion, if you can't put weight on the knee, place some cushions or a nice folded blanket that might give you some comfort. What we're gonna do is put one knee down, take the other leg out in front of you, and see that that front knee is also in line with the ankle joint. So a couple of um, cushions or blankets, hop underneath that knee. Might be a little bit more comfortable. Draw the shoulders back. Remember the glass of water on your shoulders. So you're not here or up here, releasing it down. Lots and lots of length into the neck muscles. Good, and then switch sides. Extending it. Draw that hip forward. See that the back muscles are nice and relaxed so you're not trying to arch the spine too much. Tummy in line with the ribs. And bring yourself out of this one. All right, now we're going to sit down and stretch out here in this position. You can come down into a cross-legged. Continue to sit on your support if you need more elevation for the back. Link your hands together, take your arms up. Good. This can be quite challenging in itself because you're trying to sit upright. So if you're feeling any strain in your lower back, do sit up on a support. And you know what make great supports? Telephone books, the yellow pages. If you've got two of those, they can be a bit slippery one on top of the other. Pop a little cushion on top of it and that will give you some uh, firm support to work from. Right leg goes out approximately 45 degrees, reaching in towards the foot. If you can't hold the foot, hang on to the ankle. Okay, and what you're going to do is rest the other hand on the bent knee and pull your waist down towards this leg. Remember the head stays upright, so we don't want the head here or dropping forward. As soon as it drops forward, your chest just closes in. So lift and open up through the chest. Let's try the other leg. Just out at a 45 degree angle. You can easily extend that leg. A lot of people have difficulty holding the leg down. It tends to bend like this. And what you'll probably need to do is hold on to the ankle itself, releasing it over here. 
Now while I've got you in this position, don't forget the wonderful selection of aerobic sauce style videos. There's levels to suit all fitness levels and exercises to accommodate your fitness needs, from aerobics to low impact, to conditioning exercises, abdominals, Pilates, and don't forget the yoga as well. So do check one of these selections out at your favorite department store. Bring yourself out of the exercise. Now trying the stretch into more of a forward bend. If you have difficulty in reaching for your feet, do bend the knees. Take it forward. And try to maintain more of an upright spine so we don't want to slumped over your legs because it just adds a bit of strain in the lower back. A great piece of equipment to help you with your stretches such as these ones. If you don't go out and buy expensive equipment, it's a belt. You can take the belt over the feet and that will just help you to hold that support there while you're stretching to the legs. Well, we're going to quickly stand up, bring yourself out of it. That's all we have for you today. Why don't you continue stretching a little bit more on your own? Take care of yourself and do join us again for your very next workout. Bye-bye from all of us.